Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video by me, Foxy Notel, here on the Truly Bedrock Survival server. And I am over at a little cubby hole near our guardian farm, surrounded by all of Slack's sugar boxes that he's just left out right for the picking. I'm not going to steal anything from him, but if we go out here, look at what he's been doing. If you don't remember, this was just a big, like, long tunnel that I spent ages digging out. And Slack's been finally getting around to decorating it. And this leads to our Guardian farm. And he's done an amazing job. I think he's been mainly doing this in live streams. But look at it. It goes on for absolutely ages. It must have cost him an absolute ton of resources. And not to mention all the quartz in all of the stair blocks and the slabs at the top and the sides as well. It's absolutely fantastic. And it looks brilliant as well. I really like the look of it. It's got gravel, cobble. Got some polished andesite there. Oh, I really like it. And I love the use of the uh, chisel quartz there as well. So well done, Slack, on that. And thank you very much. It makes that effort I put into actually digging out the tunnel not only worthwhile, but also seem rather like I haven't done enough work on that project now that Slack has done such a good job with those tunnels. Anyway, next clip. And moving on, the next thing I want to do is get working on our underground base. I want to finish off decorating all of the inside of that. So we're going to be doing that in a minute as a part of a time lapse, which means I need to talk to Big Chicken about getting him to do our camera account stuff. And I feel like I ought to pop by and just see how he's doing anyway. See if, get, if he's getting on all right. Are you struggling there, fella? Are you struggling to get up? Oh, well. Yeah, let's go knock on the door and let's go see how Big Chicken's getting on. It's been a while since we've spoken to him. Uh, what do we do? I guess we'll ring the doorbell. Big Chicken! Big Chicken! Oh my goodness, Walter, what's going on here? Uh, what? What do you want? I want to, uh, I want to talk to you. What? Why? What do you, what are you coming here for? Do you try and sneak in? No, I just want to talk to you. Oh, well, Geraldine says we're not allowed to let anybody in in case they try to take the house back. Look, just open the door, come outside and let's have a conversation. Okay, fine. Hang on one minute. Uh, what is the problem? Um, well, nothing really. I haven't got a problem. I just wanted to come and check how you were doing, see if you were getting on all right with Geraldine, and also ask you a bit of a favour. I'm getting on fine. Why? What have you heard? Oh, no, I've not heard anything. I'm just... No, I'm just checking, because you're my friend. Oh, okay. So you're not angry at me, then? No, I'm not angry. I thought we'd been over this. I'm not angry with you at all. But I steal your house and move in with your ex, and uh, I think you're angry at me. No, 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 it's fine. You can keep uh, Geraldine. You, can, I, you know, I did spend a lot of time and effort building this nice big house, but you can keep it. It's not a problem. I got my little tent and my little underground base now, so I'm really happy. And as long as you don't mind me like coming by and using like my farms and stuff, that's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can come to an arrangement. Anyway, what is this uh, this favour you want? Ah, I, I need you to do some more spectator mode camera count for me, please. I know it's boring standing around doing nothing, but... Yes, please, let me do that. I will desperate to do that. What? Normally you're really like, oh, I can't be bothered. Look, listen, she, she's getting me to all the cooking, the cleaning, the moving around, the redecorating, the furniture. I have not stopped. I am just, I'm so tired. Just please, yes, give me any excuse to get out for half an hour or so. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Um, yeah, in that case, uh, let's do this. Let's go. Hang on one minute. Darling! Dar- Let me in. Darling, I, I am, uh, I'm going out for a few minutes. I'll be back later, okay? Don't wait up for me. Goodbye. Quick, let's go. Okay, so while Big Chicken gets himself all set up and sorted out down there, let's go and hop down ourselves and check out what's going on. We still need to sort this area out. Not going to be working on this area today. We're going to be working on our big room and finally finishing that off. And we're also going to do the design relatively similar to these. So this, this circle room here has got some iron blocks in the floor as its accent. And this one here has got a group of pillagers in it because obviously why not? And um, this one's got emerald blocks from the floor. And because we've done so much ocean monument raiding and all that sort of good stuff, we've got loads and loads of gold now. So we're going to do the accent for of gold in that room. And it's a much, much bigger room, so it's going to cost us a lot of gold. So I suppose I need to get all of my resources and things together and get cracking with it, really. So enjoy this time lapse. Yeah. Yeah, little no tail here. This song is for all you boys and girls growing up together. Oh, man. Get out of my room, Jesse B, it's not for you I told you times before, you got to keep out of the door This is my place to chill, just for me and all my friends It's not for girls like you, you like to drive me round the bend I'm like your big bro, I know, that doesn't change a thing These toys are mine, so don't come in and 
try to see There's a sign on the door that clearly states the girls are done So get out of my room or I'll shout I'm telling mom Get out Crazy changing as your body starts to grow in freaky ways that are amazing. It can be a scary time when you're not sure of yourself, but you gotta understand your little sister changed as well. Growing as a family, you should try and stick together. Understand each other's needs so you can be best friends forever. I get you feel alone and that nobody understands you, but it happens to us all, so up and up and look around you. Yeah, you need your space and time to chill out on the floor, but don't be hating on your sister when she's banging on the door. She just wants to be like you, but her, you really get it. So be thankful of the love she shows and talk to her, don't sweat it. It is now 100% complete. This room is fully done on all the edges. It's done on the middle. We've got this thing going up the middle as well. And I've moved the conduit down into the center as well, which is absolutely great. We've got our like underwater access door, which of course means we can have some sort of underwater vehicle in here. I'm thinking some sort of submarine or something that can dock in this area would be really cool for us to have that out there. And we've got this big window out here as well, which you might have seen me, uh, I was, bolstering up the side of this and terraforming and then I forgot oh yeah I want to have a window there so I had to undo it all again and uh, put the window in and you'll see we've also got a pineapple under the sea there which I believe is a prank from Liara so thank you very much for that let's go and take a closer look at it and yeah and with the honey blocks as well I really really like it I think it's great and I actually think it adds quite a lot to this area I know it's supposed to be a silly prank that I'm supposed to get rid of but I think we'll keep it now, I didn't really watch any Spongebob. I didn't have it around when I was growing up. It wasn't something that was on my TV, but I'm aware of Spongebob and I've seen the memes and stuff like that, so I get it. But yeah, it's not something that's overly familiar with me, but I think this uh, this technically makes this bikini bottom, doesn't it? Which is, <laughs> which is quite fun. So yeah, I really like that. I've got a little bit of work to do on the outside of this thing still. I have made a lot of holes in this as I was building it, so we've got to come and put some gravel around there. And I want to tidy this little door area up here as well to make that a little bit more interesting going in and out of there. And I see you drown following me around. But yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with how this came along. And if you're wondering what that song was in the background, um, that's another one of the Lil No Tell songs I recorded recently. I don't really know how to put that to a video, so I thought I'd sneak it in on one of my time lapses instead. And if you're interested in listening to any more of the uh, Lil No Tell music, then in my last video, I did a music video. In my last proper Trudy Bedrock video, there's a music video in that video. And also, I released a music video all on its own the other day as well on this channel. So just, you know, flick back a couple of videos and you'll see them. Right. I've just noticed there's a couple of blocks I'm missing over there. And then this area, apart from all of this bit, is 100% done. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to transition it into all of this because this is on a different level. It's on a different bearing. It's going to be a bit of an awkward thing to do. So I don't think we're going to do that in today's episode, to be honest with you. We'll probably do that another time. But I just need a little bit of white concrete and a little bit of the uh, cyan uh, terracotta. And we can just finally get this 100% finished off and the reason this bit's not quite done there was a chest there a minute ago and I've just been and tidied up all of the uh, blocks and bits and bobs we left lying about so there we go that matches that one that looks absolutely great 
It's a nice transition from one room to another. I still don't really know what we're going to do in this. I mean, I've no idea what we're going to do this end. I was thinking like maybe some sort of recording studio would look kind of cool under the water. But that just seems a bit of a silly idea, really. So I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. What I do know is that I want some kind of submarine thing over here. And uh, I think I'm going to work on that next. Well, you don't see that every day. Um, uh, I'm going to leave it to it. And there we go. We have our underwater vehicle here ready and waiting to go on an amazing adventure. It looks amazing. I'm really happy with it. It's, um, yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, that is supposed to be there. Yeah, it's it's an interesting looking ship or submarine. It's got some engines at the back that propulse it propulse that make it go through the water. <laughs> I can't remember my words. And uh, yeah, it's got a cockpit at the front. We can go inside this thing. It's on legs at the moment. It wouldn't have legs when it was in the water. There just stands while it's in here, obviously, because it's not in the water. It's not going to float. So if we hop in through the uh, the door here. We go inside, we've got our underwater armor and trident for when we're fighting the underwater baddies. We've got some uh, blast furnaces here which are acting as the engine propulsion systems. And up in the cockpit here we have a couple of seats, some buttons and a lever to make this thing go. And I really like it, I'm really, really happy with how this little build has come on. I mean, it's it had to be relatively small to fit in this area. Now, technically, it is wider than the door. You know, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks wide. And the door is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks wide. So it's just, just enough width to fit through. And height wise, I think it's just enough width to fit through as well. So the chances of us actually taking this on a mission are probably relatively slim. But I really like it. I'm really happy with how it's come out. I think it looks great. I want to see what it looks like from uh, above. It's hard to see it from above. Here we go, look. Oh, that's a good a good view of it through the glass. That looks amazing. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Really, it looks like an arrow. Looks like an arrow. I never even thought about that. But yeah, yeah, very happy with my underwater rocket submarine. Very, very nice. So now, apart from decorating the outside of this area, that's the inside of this side of the underwater base. Pretty much completely done. There's not really a great deal else to do with that. I mean, there's loads of stuff we could potentially do decorating the inside of this. But I don't know what... I haven't got the inspiration to decorate the inside of this at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the underwater base alone for a little while and we'll maybe come back to that a little bit later on. So now that we've got all of these amazing builds in place and our underwater base is coming along very, very nicely, we really need to think about how we're going to start making some money now that Geraldine is not Geraldine, it wasn't Geraldine took my money this time, was it? It's Mr. Onion took all my diamond blocks. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, in the last episode, Mr. Onion decided that me and Slack had not been paying rent for enough time that he took all of my diamond blocks. He didn't take all my diamonds, but he took all of my diamond blocks, which is, is not great, really. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we're a little bit poor, so we need a money-making scheme. And I feel like our, our shops, I mean, we've got lots of shops, but they're not really money spinners these days. So if I'm going to think about opening up a shop, I don't really want to be going over to the shopping area because that area, as much as it's busy, I think it's pretty much had its day for shops. People seem to have bought all of the items that they think they're going to need for this season now. So what I'm going to do is build a shop over in our village city area. Seems though this is a much more thriving community area now. People are here all the time building. I thought I would build an actual shop and a service shop over here. So let's find a place to do that and we could probably do it over here actually not far from where we were building our port i think it will go quite ni nicely down in this little area and the shop we're going to build is called
Can you dig it? And there we go. Another quick pop-up build. It took a little while. It didn't take too long at all, really. It's a nice, janky, easy one to build because it's literally just a mass of stone and some ores and cobble and andesite thrown together with a wooden pickaxe stuck in the top. And the idea here is that because the server is with me, I get a really good connection to it. So I can instamine really easy without any block lag. I hardly ever get block lag. I get the tiniest little bit, which is why I'm able to build underground bases and all that sort of stuff. People like Silent and uh, other people on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean really suffer bad with the block lag. And one of the reasons for that is because the server is located so far away from them. The other reason is just that Minecraft's not very good at sending information long distances. So I thought what I'd do is offer my services to everyone for digging. If they need something digging out, they can tell me how big they want it. We can come to some sort of idea of how much that would cost and I'll go and dig it for them, which I think would be a really, really good thing to do. So all I need to do is write this book to explain how it's all going to work. And I'm going to fill a load of these barrels up with loads of the stone and cobble and stuff I've got and see if I can upsell a little bit. See if I can like do like nine stacks. I'll take a leaf out of Tis Tom's book and do like nine stacks of stone for a diamond or something crazy like that. And as I write this book, I realise that my generosity knows no bounds. And I'll read it out to you what I've written. Can you dig it? Unless you're foxy, then probably not. But block lag and server lag are a thing, and as a favour to you all, I'd like to help make everyone's lives easier by offering my free digging services. If you'd like to benefit from this free service, then contact Foxy on Discord to meet up and arrange what you need digging. Whilst this service is totally free, a financial show of support for each completed dig would be greatly appreciated. Appreciated support is accepted in the form of 4.5 diamonds per 16x16, by 16 chunk area and I think that should do it so let's sign that let's pop it on there and now people will be able to, I can't read it oh there we go yeah people will be able to access our free digging services as often as they need which is absolutely fantastic so there we go 100% job done and I am happy with oh no I haven't it's not job done is it I need to get those boxes and who who's going around putting speed and haste in beacons haste yeah fair enough but speed, it's like the jump boost one we had at the marketplace not that long ago. It's horrible. You suddenly just get got by this speed effect and it just goes, it's so jarring. Ugh, I don't like the speed boost, guys. And because I don't have any levels, I've had to add some signs on this. But there we go. We've added a few shulker boxes, full shulker boxes full of gravel. We've got some cobblestone. We've got some smooth stone. We've got some normal stone. We've got some grass. And we've got some dirt as well. And over here, we've got a little bit of diorite and some granite as well. And they are all six diamonds per shulker. You get to keep the shulker box as well. And you get, yeah, the contents in there as well, which is absolutely great. So not only are we offering a digging service, but we also make, might, might make a few diamonds on the side. Now those, pri prices of, now, those prices are very generous, but we've got loads of those resources. So it really shouldn't be an issue. And I don't think we need them ourselves at this point. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with how this episode has gone. So I'd like to say, as usual, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do please leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. 